Hey there, welcome back to IAS Tech. In today's session, we are embracing the raw and the experimental. No scripts, no rehearsed lines, just on the fly coding and problem solving. We are on a mission to build something functional and amazing. And today that something is quick image editor. Imagine being able to upload an image, crop it, rotate it, and even apply some basic filters all from within your browsers that's the goal for today and here is the kicker all of this is going to be guided by chat gpt the ai from open ai it will be suggesting our code as we embark on this coding journey we are pushing the envelope to see how far we can go with the ai assisted development in react.js and tailwind css so buckle up it's going to be an exciting ride so in my previous video, we built this markdown editor with the help of the chat GPT. So now we are going to build the next project that is image editor. So let's go back to the chat GPT and ask it to help us. Write code to build quick image editor by using React and Tailwind CSS. description of this tool a simple image editor that allows users to crop rotate or apply basic filters to an uploaded image it should do everything on client side without depending on any backend make sure that ui is very professional modern looking and ready to be used in production it should be very attractive so let's see what it gives to us all right so it is saying that creating a complete code for a professional looking production ready image editor using react and tailwind css is quite involved task but i can give you a general outline and some sample code and snippets to get you started on your project you can then elaborate on this according to your specific needs so first of all it is asking to install the dependencies like set up react project and install tailwind css but i already have done that so I have the basic hello world project where I have the tailwind CSS and the basic hello world uh, working. I just have to run and start this project. So let's do that. Also, we need to install these dependencies that is react image crop and react filters. So let's copy these dependencies and run them in the terminal. So open a new terminal and run this command. okay now let me restart the server it is not starting in that terminal so let's try it again okay the application has started and it is loading in my browser all right now let's continue following the instruction from chat gpt so it is giving us this code app.js so let's copy paste this code in our app.js i have replaced everything here uh, also we need to create a component image crop.js so let's create that here paste it and now and here i will import that component
okay so after that let's preview it in our application so it is giving us a simple input file so let's pick up a file and try to edit something i selected a picture so far it did not give me anything to edit yet and let's see if there is any error here so i think because of this error it is not working so i'm going to copy paste this code and i don't know if this is coming from the react or from any extension i'm not sure actually this is coming from my extension that's why it is happening i'm going to run this uh remove it okay now i don't see any error so let's try any picture but still it is not doing anything so let's ask uh, uh chat gpt also we can read what it says how to use it uh, i'm just focusing on cropping part you can extend this include rotating and applying basic filters to the image for the ui tailment should help you make okay would you like to proceed with adding features like rotating and applying okay first of all i tried your code it was showing just an input where i selected an image then nothing happened also yes i need you to provide me code for each and everything code should be complete without missing anything and you have to make it attractive with tailwind cs so let's see how far it can help us so it is asking us to install a library image crop so let's see if we did not install it already yes image crop is not installed yet so so far you can see these are our dependencies that we have react filter and actually react image crop is already here then why is it not showing in this search r e a c t a t image crop strange okay it is already here so we don't need to install any of these because it, these are installed now let me copy paste the app.js file again and this time uh, it is complaining about the image editor so let me import it okay so now it is asking us to create this component image editor so let me replace this one and rename it with the image editor and now let's try to import it again okay now is it is imported correctly and here it is asking us to add these thing we already have added them now it is saying that now you should have functional react application that allows you to crop the image rotate the image and apply a grayscale filter the ui is styled with tailwind css to make it modern and attractive you can always adjust the tailwind classes to make it even more to your liking okay let's see all right so this is what it is showing us there is an input i'm going to pick an image and now it is giving me these options so let's click on the rotate 
that strange uh, it does not make any sense that if i click on this button nothing is happening so let's tell chat gpt about it but before that let me see if there is any error in the console no there is no error so let's complain this uh, to chat gpt about this i can see there are two buttons but if i click on those buttons nothing happened and also it does not look uh, modern and professional it should be very the ui should be very user friendly okay it is telling me to install the react image crop uh let me see if it is yes it is already there as we verified earlier and now it is asking us to add this code in the app.js after that it is asking us to replace this file image.editor with the new code okay let's replace this file with the new code and now it is saying that make sure you have the tailwind css classes imported here alternatively you can use the tailwind setup using pro css and styling okay it is saying that a cropping interface rotate button that rotates the image the toggle grayscale okay let's see okay now i can see some improvements and let's select an image I just selected an image. I clicked on the rotate and toggle grayscale. Nothing happened and there is no error. That's not good. I'm not happy with that. So it, although it improved the UI, but oops, nothing happens when i click on the buttons even if i select the image it does not uh, instantly show the preview of that image fix it please okay so let's see okay let's replace this code with the old code in the app.js and let it complete then we will copy paste this code as well so it is saying that now an instant image preview upon selecting an image and a rotate button that rotates the image a toggle grayscale button that applies the grayscale filter to the image so let's try it reload it select an image uh, still nothing is happening that's very bad maybe i should stop the server and start again i don't know if that's the issue it's still not working let me try a different image maybe there is something wrong with this image uh nope this is also not working still nothing 
appears if i select image also nothing happens by clicking on the buttons i think chat gpt is having hard time to make that possible it is saying that uh, to achieve functionality you need i suggest taking a different approach by using canvas to render the image and apply the transformation this method is fully client side okay nice uh, it is asking that we need to install tailwind csr react dom and react and these are already installed so i don't think we need to run them again so let's copy paste this app.js code again and this time it is using canvas to draw the image or things that we want to display i hope that this time it will work okay copy it and replace this code with a new one all right i can see something but this looks strange we reload it so by default if i select an image then it takes all of the space and all the toggle buttons disappeared i don't know what's wrong here so let me try to reduce the width so right now it is using too large width so maybe try 500 uh okay uh okay let's complain chat gpt about this uh, image appeared but it was too large 3000 pixels it should not take go out of the available space So it is saying that you can scale the image on canvas to fit within the available space by setting the maximum width and height of the canvas here is how you can modify the image editor okay let's see All right now it is looking very nice so let's try it again i will select an image and now let's try to rotate it yes now rotate is working perfectly fine and now i will try to click on this filter yes this filter is working very nice so now i will ask chat gpt to help us to add many more filters now please add 10 more filters right now there is only one filter so let's see if it can add more filters or not so it is saying that add yes certainly adding more filters can be achieved by manipulating the image pixel data through the canvas context so below is updated the image editor.js So it, ha it is applying multiple filters, grayscale, invert, sepia. I don't know what does it mean as comes here. So it, it did not provide me the complete code for the filters. It just stop here, add more filters as cases here. So I will force ChatGPT to uh, provide me complete code for all of the 10 filters. I have added a drop down menu to allow user to select filter from the list. Right now there are three filters. You get more filters by expanding the apply filter function. Okay. Uh, please uh, provide me complete code for 10 filters without missing anything.
uh, it is again skipping code it is saying that you can pick it from here from the above example but i wanted it to provide us complete code without skipping anything let me stop it and try to tell it you are again skipping code i want you to 100% complete code without skipping so that i just copy paste and start using it let's see what it does with that okay now it is trying to complete everything without skipping any part of code it stopped in the middle so we need to click on the continue generation so that it could continue and complete the script okay so now let's copy this code and replace the image editor and see what change it has made okay let me select an image i selected this one oops it just uh that's strange okay it did something but it uh, it, it destroyed my style so let me first test the filters yes filters are working great that's perfect but we need to improve the styles let me tell it it is working amazingly great but you lost styles for the buttons so i need you to improve the layout and make it very attractive and uh, make ua very attractive and nice so let's see what it will do okay it is saying that uh, the rest of the code would stay same we just need to replace this html part and it would just work fine no problem all right let's copy paste this piece of code and i will delete this and paste that one all right now it is looking very nice so let's pick a uh, image and this is how it is looking like now you can rotate the image and you can apply the multiple filters one by one excellent so everything is done it is very nice we, it is acceptable we can uh, definitely upload it online if you want to at the at the last step i just want to take a quick look on my code to see what is going uh, behind the scene uh, this code is too uh, way too much complex i don't know what is happening but i will just uh, look at it to get an idea 
because uh, to be honest i don't know what it is and how it is working so we can learn over time but right now we just want to take a quick look so in the app.js we have an heading we have a div we have the input and, and we are accepting only images the type is file and on selecting a file we call a function on select file and also uh, when this function is called we have the use state for the source we are managing and maintaining the state for the source variable and we are checking if there is a source then show the image editor immediately otherwise it will not show it and the on select we are getting checking if there are files and if the length of file is greater than zero then it will use a file reader and it will uh, register the load event on that uh, reader so that whenever image is loaded it will call uh, this function set source result dot reader dot result and then uh, e dot targeted file so we are getting the data url from the selected file so that we could dis quickly display it so anyways uh, once that is done let's dive into the image editor in the image editor we have a uh, uh, use reference canvas ref that is being used here uh canvas ref dot current canvas and we are using it uh, for the reference in the canvas tag that we have here okay and after that we have the rotation property we have filter all of these are states default value for the filter is none max dimension is 600 pixels apply filter function and we have the use effect that is the life cycle hook i guess and we are using canvas current context and the image okay and we are registering an event on load so as soon as image is loaded we will apply all of this logic we are setting the dimension scale or width and height of the image and also we are clearing the rectangle and saving so a lot of things are, are going on so that looks very interesting and this looks very interesting piece of code that we can learn to increase our knowledge so yeah this looks great i think that's uh, all that i wanted to and wanted to cover in this video all right we just wrapped up another raw coding session and we have successfully built a quick image editor not bad for an experimental journey guided by chat gpt right we have seen how to crop rotate not crop we did not implement the crop but we have learned how to rotate and apply filters to the images using react and tailwind css we have done it all in real time and no edits and no cuts i hope you have enjoyed this as much as i did these experimental sessions aim to explore the boundaries of what we can achieve when we combine coding with ai and i am thrilled to have you all along for the ride if you found this video valuable please hit that like button and consider subscribing for more raw unscripted coding adventures this is ayaz tech signing off for now remember the sky is the limit when it comes to coding keep experimenting and stay curious